Hey guys, um, this is your Sunday host Stacey and this week's topic is your favourite um, witchy book or um, pagan book. Um, so yeah, I'm going to be showing, I don't have a favourite, I'm not going to lie, I'm going to be showing a few. Um, you probably may have seen one that I always talk about but there are more than um, just one for me. Um, sorry. So yeah, um, I have about, I have five books to show you quite quickly, I'm going to go through them because it's getting late. I also have to say sorry for my red cheeks, literally we had about four hours of sun today, we literally sat outside like, oh, sun, sun, did not think in the slightest that I would be burnt and my shoulders a bit, I have tan lines, look at these tan lines, look at that. Four hours of sun and it was only like 16 degrees and I got burned. I need to prepare my skin for Australia. <laughs> um, so yes, I have four books um, to show you. So I will get them. And first of all, the one that everyone's seen, if you've watched any of my other videos um, in my YouTube channel or this channel, um, this is like the go-to book for everything that you need for magical ingredients and just for like not even like for spells and stuff like that it's just general knowledge in this book of like ingredients and um whatnot and just like being able to when you go for walks and like you know learning what um for instance say if you come across a daffodil in spring and uh, not just admiring the daffodil but you know what the qualities are you know that um let me just point out what it says here it says keep in the garden or house to cheer you up add to bath water to increase luck or bring new people into your life mix with rose petals and place around a photo of your lover you want to return so it's just being able to have that knowledge in your head it just brings that magic back into your life I feel knowing stuff like that when you're out and about and just going, oh, there's a daisy, I know what that's for. Or it, it's just literally the ideal book. It's probably one of the only books I will be packing away to take with me in my life luggage <laughs> to Australia. Um, so yeah, if you've seen my other books, you know that that's just perfect for everyone, whether you're looking for um, just a general encyclopedia or you are looking to find creative ways in um not being so obvious with magic if you're a bit younger um oh God, i keep looking at my face it looks awful it's so burnt <laughs> right okay next book if you're into crystals i would definitely say get the crystal bible um literally it's good for learning about the the, the first part of it is really good for um quick knowledge of crystals it's a great beginner's book on crystals um, everything you need to know on the um, properties of crystals um, and just if you are looking to identify I would you know I you don't always recommend as everyone says you don't always have to go by the book but it's brilliant for identifying crystals if you've bought a crystal in the past and you've forgotten what it's called even if you don't go by the prop, what the book says, I would definitely recommend that you buy this because it is a great way to learn crystals off by heart. So you can pick one up and go, oh, that's citrine. Oh, that's um, rose quartz. You just know what they are because you've got a book like this that you can learn them off by heart. So I definitely recommend that if you're into crystals. Um, another favourite book of mine when I was a beginner, um, and this is like a very... Um, very one tradition book but it was great for giving you a basis of wicker i would recommend the big blue book this is great for learning um and studying wicker because it has like the perfect like little if i just pick some up for you um yeah you read the chapter obviously and then it'll give you stuff to fill in and it's good just to go back and reflect on what you've learned in that space of time um so yeah i would definitely recommend this book it's very much a teaching book for um the general the basics of wicca um it is tied down to one tradition and um, the saxon and um, but i would recommend getting it for just 
basic knowledge of even though some people don't go by altar setups and what side should be on it's just so you've got an idea of how rituals are laid out and why things are done and it's got a history in there which is really good um if you're looking to learn the history obviously you will need to learn that um and then i have i know i know that people some people don't like this but i think this is perfect um for the the beginner and the intermediate and the advanced for literally a book it's like um it's like an index of wicca um not not everyone agrees that everything in here is correct but for the beginner for someone that is looking for um references uh, it has good spells in it it has good um good um ritual layouts to um learn from to be able to and it shows you how to incorporate your own um it's really good for basic layouts it's got so much in here um this is literally i haven't read every single page of it i got i tried to do that because i had a I had a thing of going through one book and not being able to touch another until i got through a book and i think i got to about here and like give up the goat literally i was like you know when you read one book and you get so tired of because it's such a big book you just run out of energy you run out of energy to read the book as much as you're trying to learn you know i just need some different knowledge from another book so i come back to this all the time and this book is generally the one um when i ran out of new books to read um on wicca because that's the only books that i read i'm not a book reader at all i also read in the bath that's like one of my hobbies that's my space and time to go and read i read in the bath i will take this book with me even though it's quite surprised i haven't like wet it in the past because it's so big um i will get this book and just sit there for a minute and i'll just open a page you know not in um i guess you could say like intuition just like tarot cards just pick picking a page that you need thinking about what you've been thinking about and i just open the book and somehow it relates to what i'm feeling at the moment and stuff like that so as it goes to show that it, you know tools are just tools you know if i need to clarify that again tools are just tools you can use anything it's your intuition is what brings the stuff forward for you um so yeah good idea if you've got a big book with stuff like that in um a good little game if you like to play um so that's that and the book i'm on at the moment which i'm literally in the introduction stages um i quite like this it's the um witch's companion um i've literally just started it but i'm liking how it's like the woman that talks and it's very um it's very much talking in the first tense i can't i don't know what that is from school i can't remember but it's like her talking about it it's not just like a book that says do this do this do this and this it's like a very um personal book and it gives you her views on it and her friends views on it and stuff like that from so far from what i've read so that's what i'm current, currently current currently reading um so yeah that's in the process and that is it that are all my books they're not all my books i've got loads more books but they're the ones that i'd recommend um the ones are my favorites anyway um and yes obviously this one but it isn't really a book it's more a diary i would recommend that for keeping dates close to you um and that's it and i'm sorry i look at an absolute show <laughs> um but i will see you next week blessed be